And then you're going to go in with the CO and you're just going to trace over that line and extend it a little bit further. And it just kind of softens the edge of that gray. But this will help give your um, image a lot of dimension and just make it look like it's popping off the page. A lot of times when I do this and I'm doing it in a class, people will say, well, are we cutting it out? I'm like, no, it's just the way it's colored. It makes it appear that it's that it's um, cut out and dimensionalized. So there you have it. There is your first flower. This is the the wet blending. So now we're ready to start with our dry blending and we're going to work in the opposite direction. You're going to start with your darkest color which is going to be your 17 and we're going to start in our deepest shadows. And you're just going to go ahead and kind of flick your color out a little bit. And you're not going to add a whole lot of your darkest color. And since this is a small image, it's a little bit more challenging to get that flicking. But you can pull out those flicking lines with your lighter colors too. So I'm just going to Flick out in those dark areas. I'm just going to leave that whole middle section open. more flower here so I can flick a little bit further on that space. And some of this it's almost more like you're just coloring the lines. this petal. Okay, so there's my darkest. Now I'm going to go in with my middle color, my 15, and I'm going to brush it out from the center out just past where I colored my darkest. Still going to try to leave some white for my lightest color, but if you end up coloring a lot of it, it's okay because your lightest color is still going to lighten your darkest shades. And these little pieces where the leaves are folded over, I'm leaving those um, I'm going to do those the lightest color. And this part I'm just going to do the middle color because it's out in the front and this is going to have a, a nice highlight right here where the sun's hitting it the most. 
Um, this one. Almost forgot that one. Okay, now we're going to go in with the lightest color and go the opposite direction, not from the middle, but from the white edge and kind of blend in. If you need to go over some of your other lines a little bit, that's okay. You can go over them. It'll blend them nicely and soften them. Fill in all your white spaces now with your lightest color. And like this middle section right here, I want it a little bit softer, so I'm going to scrub that paper a little bit more with my lighter color. And I'm kind of pushing my ink there, kind of scrubbing the paper and pulling it, pulling my colors together. To blend them. This middle section is kind of just color up of it. Okay, now we're going to do our leaves. And we're going to do those the same way, the starting with the darkest color, the G28. And just add a little bit And I'm kind of following the lines of the leaf. If you want to color this stem in, I like to do them in the darkest shade. Okay, now my G24. And you're going to pull it out a little bit further. Remember your thirds theory. still see more of the defined lines of where the colors meet there. Now I'm going in with the lightest color and I'm going to start at the end and bring it in. really need to refill this one. I'll make it work for this, but it's getting pretty dry. Pull your color in, and you can almost see it softening right in front of your eyes when your inks are wet. When your inks are wet is when they blend the best. If they've dried, they, d they won't blend as well. But you can resaturate them and reactivate the color by just coloring over it again. Okay, so there is 
the dry method and we're going to add the yellow for the the center here and you can do the same thing with the gray highlighting around the bottom and one side so again on the bottom of all of your image, so that would be the leaves, the petals, okay, and then I'm going to go on the left side of the image. And that's just going to give it a little bit more definition. And then I'm going to go with the three uh, CO and kind of just go over that line just to soften it a bit. So there you have it. There's your um, wet and dry um, blending. And you can turn it over and you can see that I've saturated my cardstock. But you can see that this is a little bit more defined in the shading and the colors. And this is more um, soft and blended. There's your differences. You can really see it in the, the petals, the, the leaves. Okay.